please don't make an innuendo joke. We're not 12 years old here. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Zach Tellender. I'm a weightlifting coach and overall weightlifting enthusiast. And when I say weightlifting, I mean Olympic style weightlifting. Some of you may call it Oli lifting, something like that. Uh, but the sport is actually just called weightlifting, the sport of weightlifting. It's performed outside of the Olympics. It's performed on world stages like the World Championships, Pan American Championships, National Championships, so on and so forth. All that this sport entails is the snatch, which is moving the barbell from the ground to overhead in one fluid movement, and the clean and jerk, which is where the barbell stops at the shoulders and then goes overhead. Now there's a little bit of technique in between that, but that's for the most part what we do in our competition settings. Now, the movement with arguably one of the biggest return on investments is the back squat and the style in which we do this movement is very exciting. A lot of people like it. As opposed to the powerlifting squat where you're gonna see the barbell be a little bit lower, you're gonna see the lifter hinge forward a little bit more and play with the line of the correct depth. With weightlifters, you're gonna see hips below parallel or below the knee, hip crease below the knee crease. You're gonna see the bar up a little bit higher and you're gonna see a lot of dynamic, exciting squats. So a little bit ago, I asked you guys to submit your favorite back squats and things you want me to review. And this is the list that I came up with. So let's get right into it. First up, we have Toshiki Yamamoto, or as most people call him, Toshiki Senpai. Now, Toshiki is a Japanese weightlifter. Since I've been following weightlifting, he's gone from 85 kilos up to I think he's in the 102 class. Could be going up to the 109 class. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure one of you guys are gonna comment something in below. But he has always, always, always been a, a big squatter. He has uh, hips that are built for the bottom position of the squat. It's actually ridiculous. You can tell by the way that he sets up on the snatch. Any of his squats, you can just see how well his hips are formed for that particular movement. Now. Something that I commonly say is that a good back squat doesn't mean you're gonna have a good snatch or clean and jerk, and then vice versa. In fact, one of the, not worst, but the least high uh, ratio of back squat to total on here, Dmitry Klokov actually has the best total of anyone on here. So there are definitely diminishing returns when you want to push your squat as hard as you can at elite levels. Toshiki Yamamoto is just incredibly strong and incredibly handsome, and we all like watching him squat. So, his PR back squat. So, he's done 300 a ton of times, and here's what it looks like. Simple. As easy as it gets. I mean, he's been doing 300 for years now, so... Uh, let's look at the bottom position. There is no question. That's unquestionably depth. You see the bars high on his shoulders. His hip crease is below the knee crease. And this is the crazy thing. As he stands out of this, his hips will not deviate backwards almost at all. And that's going to be a good squatter no matter what. I'm going to show you guys one of my squats and how difficult it is for me to do something like that. But because, you know, the length of my femurs, just... I'm a mess, okay? So... A guy like this will always, always, always be good at back squatting. Whether he can pull well off the floor uh, in as a ratio to his back squat, well, we're not entirely sure. I'm sure he's still pretty strong. It's just not as strong. So again, super easy, 300 kilo lift, not a problem at all. So 311, again, nails depth, maybe even faster than 300. 321, so this is when it gets cool because you get sixth red slab of beef on that thing. I can tell you from experience, when you get four on there, it's pretty pretty freaking cool. Uh, five is just way out of my element, and obviously 320 is just out of this universe. So here we go. Wow. Some guys squat fast and then you add another kilo on the bar and they miss the next rep. You know, the ease of the lift is commonly like from, from an outsider's perspective or even someone who's squatting, the ease of the lift is not always the best uh, judgment of what you can or can't do. There's so many other factors. So we're gonna move on now to Dmitry Klokov because gotta put him in the video. 
And what I found was, as far as, and again, I, I struggle to say this, weren't any impressive back squats. Of course, there's impressive back squats of Dmitry Klokov. And maybe I didn't do my research as well, but he's one of these, he is the guy on here with, as far as I'm concerned, the lowest squat uh, compared to body weight or, or the, the least most insane squat to body weight, but by far the best total. Right, the by far the best Sinclair, I believe. I, I'm almost positive he would have the best Sinclair out of this group, although there might be one person that might have had a better Sinclair than him. So, a 250 kilo front squat with just an insane pause. Okay, and this is the range of motion that we're talking about. I know I'm putting in a front squat, I shouldn't have put in a front squat, but I had to put in a front squat, so don't get mad at me. Here we go. I think they're bumping. Uh, like Get Busy Child by Prodigy. This is typical Dmitry Klokov. Guy sets up for about an hour. All right. Yeah, that was a full five seconds. A full ass five seconds. Now, something like this is where, for those of you that struggle with squats, for those of you that struggle standing up cleans, this is what I've, I've been talking about for a long time, and that's activation of the quads on the way down and the way up. And some of you are going to do this naturally, and you have bad hips, so it's the opposite issue with you. But you can see when he descends, he's purposely pushing the knees forward, purposefully doing this. Right now he's here in the bottom, his hips are below the knees, but his knees are still forward. It's not uh, one or the other, it's the balance of the two. So he's, he's active, even though he's sitting down there, he's ready to activate his hips and his knees at the same time. This is complete and utter control over the musculature in the legs, complete control over it. Okay, this is, it's about activating more muscles in the leg rather than trying to Okay, activate the hips. Okay, activate the, the, the knees and the muscles that surround the knees. You have to be able to do both at the same time. And my man, right out of this, he just jumps. Boom. Pretty amazing. Let's move on. Okay, we have our first female weightlifter, or our only female weightlifter. Probably one of my favorite squatters on the, or the current female squatters, and that is Laura Donatoma. She's also a terrific snatcher. Clean is great. Doesn't really jerk that well, so guys, please don't make an innuendo joke. We're not 12 years old here, okay? She doesn't do shoulder to overhead that well, okay? You understand. But her back squats have always been amazing to me, always. Uh, and this, I, I, I didn't even really struggle to look throughout her Instagram too much, but I believe she's done over 200 kilos. And this is a, one of her back squat workouts. She does 180 for two sets of two. And she's 64 kilos, mind you. Look at how easy this is. Now her coach is standing behind her, so some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, but he's helping her get out of there. Like, dude, he's putting a feather underneath the barbell, just kind of making sure it cruises. This is my favorite part here, if you look right here. Open your toes 15 degrees outward to increase your thigh muscle efficiency. Yeah, okay, bud. <laughs> oh, my man's got three followers following 19 people, zero posts. I love it. You got to love the internet. You have to. But uh, 190, no back, no spotter. Now, that's incredible. All right, I'm gonna pause it when she gets to the bottom position here. Again, another theme that we see amongst these weightlifters, it's not just the knees forward. It's the knees forward and the hips below the knees at the same time. Why? So when she stands up out of this position, she has active glutes, active hips, and active knees, active quads, and everything that surrounds the knees. Both joints are working at the exact time she wants to fire to stand up. Boom. So that's that, Lord Onatoma, very good weightlifter. This, these back squats are one of the more famous back squats that you're uh, 
going to see if you've, if you've been around a while. This video has been circulating for a while. This is like the go-to video, back, or was back in the day when powerlifters were like wearing, you know, gear to like these like crazy squat suits and they're squatting like four inches and standing up. This was like the, the go-to video being like, hey, why don't you just squat like this, okay? Idolberto Aranda, I forget what team he was for. Cuban, yeah, Cuban. Okay, so this is funny, femurs of peace, this comment right here, because my man's got some tiny ass femurs. It's basically Toshiki Yamamoto, just with a little bit more spice. So here we go, watch. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> chill, chill, dude. Chill, okay, here we go. 200. Watch this move. Hey. Yep. What? Yeah, 77 kilos body weights. Thanks for uh, Randy Strawson, the guy uh, behind these videos back in the day. If you don't know Iron Mind, go check out Iron Mind stuff. That's the real old school weightlifting videos. Let's see, 250. Yep. Are you kidding? Like, uh, all right, comment right now what weight you think you can move as fast as Adalberto Aranda moves at 250 kilos. Comment that right now. I'll tell you mine 70 kilos. Yep, that's me moving 70 kilos. So, easy, huh? short femur lord, God. Short femur lord, God. 280 kilos here. He's going to absolutely pipe this. 285, 285 sorry, my bad. How, where's he getting that five from? I, I don't know where he's getting that five from. I thought it, was, it looks like 280 to me. Whatever. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Hey. Again, what do you think you could safely do that with? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So just so you guys, we can get a nice little uh, comparison here. This is my back back squat ever. So this is 230. And you can see right around this area, I got some room to travel. I got some distance with these bad boys. It's a long way to the bottom. So that's my best back squat ever, right there. 230 kilos. So just as a little comparison, right? We're looking at femur guys. So we got Idalberto Aranda. Uh, he has the femurs of Corgi whereas I have the femurs of a giraffe. Now, we've got another tiny little femur guy with a big old chungus body weight. His name is Mart Syme. This is debatably the heaviest back squatter in weightlifting history. I mean, I, I'm not sure that anyone has ever back squatted more than this guy as, and has competed at in like an A session uh, of weightlifting. So here we have 380 kilos. And that's his dad behind him, by the way, back squatting him over ever so gently. Like, look at the look at these hands caressing his body. And 400. Look at that sh. We're gonna run that back. Hey! Like you guys, 400 kilo squats don't look like that. 400 kilo squats, they don't put the bar up that high. They don't hit the bottom that hard. Whatever you're thinking about, oh, well, you know, like he uses the spring and the, the fact that he hits the bottom hard, like whatever, it's 400 kilos. Again, I say the heaviest because I, I don't think I've ever seen a heavier back squat from a, an A session weightlifter because like I had said prior to this, like the diminish, like it just doesn't work like that. You can't just add kilos to your back squat and say, all right, like uh, that means my total is gonna go up. And in fact, if we look, maybe Mart Syme back squats more than Lasha, probably does, but he couldn't touch Lasha's total with a 10 foot pull. He's not even, 
in the same universe as Lasha. That doesn't mean anything against him. It's just that no one fucking is. Another famous uh, Iron Mind squat session is a famous poster. It's um, Ivan Chakarov. He's one of the Bulgarian weightlifters. And this is the no, no, no squat, hey, which is no sleeves, no belt, no spotters, which, you know, again, back in the 80s, <laughs> when people were squatting this type of weight or whatever, they had... 14 spotters, you know, and this was like kind of around the time of West Side, and they're sitting their hips back, and it's a big deal, big lift. This homeboy right here just unracks and just pumps 270 for a set of three. So here we go. Look at look at how low his hips get. Tripling 270 at 77 kilo body weight is just outrageous, okay? And, and then to have that sort of range of motion, like there's no one in powerlifting, no matter where you look. Look at that. Homeboy's not stopping parallel. Hey! Of course, we got to end the video right. My buddy, Clarence, is a very interesting character in that... If I don't use him in my videos, I'm, uh, you know, I'm screwed because people say, I can't believe you did a back squat video with Cl without Clarence. If I do use him, I'm attaching myself to his clout. I'm friends with Clarence, okay? I don't need his clout. I don't need his clout. They can't say I need to use his clout so I can get more subscribers. I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> All right, Clarence Kennedy, we have uh, 306 kilos for a pause squat. Seems kind of, seems like a normal number to be doing uh, pause squats with. We got 270. So I've seen Ivan Chakarov triple this, so this is whatever, you know. That's good. It's pretty good. 290, not quite 300, so, you know. You know, we don't know if he can do more than that. We're not sure. We're not entirely sure if he can squat more than that right now. Because, you know, some, like I said before, some of these guys move fast and then they hit a wall. And, you know, so he's going to, he, he might hit a wall. He's, he's doing 306 kilos. He's going to squat 306 kilos. And he's going to stop. Look at this. He walks it back in. I, I will break this down a little bit. Again, par for the course here for the best squatters in in you know our area. We have the bar up high. We have the chest open, hip crease noticeably below the knees, but the knees are still forward. As he stands, he can use his knees and he can use his hips. And this was for a while, I think Clarence just randomly decided to pause every single one of his squats for like almost a year. Terry Squatter, guys. What else can I say? What, what more do you want from me? Do you want me to just give Clarence this channel so he can have a third one? Is that what you want? Is that what we're going to do? <sighs> Whatever, I'm done. I don't need his clout.